Everton Red Triangle ABC today in Liverpool, in the heart of Liverpool. With me, I've got Mick and Paul Stevenson, the head coaches from the gym. How are we doing, fellas? All right. Yeah, good, cool, thanks, Sounds Yeah, yes. Um, first and foremost, tell me a little bit about the club. H how long have you guys been involved with, with the boxing gym? Okay, uh, well, me and Mick used to uh, box at the gym years ago, since uh, about the, the 80s, the late 80s, we, we boxed there. And the, um, since then, we, we come back as coaches about about 17 years ago. The club was on our times, and there wasn't really much happening there. And, you know, we, we gradually built it back up, you know, got sort of a good amateur squad, and then eventually good pro squad, and here we are now, you know. I mean, notably... The professional boxers in the gym seem to be doing really well. The likes of Jazza, James Dickens, Kevin Satchel, um, even the, the fighters coming through, like, they seem to be producing a good quality of a level of fighter. How, how do you explain that? Um, they work very hard. We work hard. I would say. Um, and they lay off each other as well in, in the gym, day in, day out. You know what I mean? We, we, one kid will rise to a, a, the next level and then the other kids will just scrap back up and get back to that level and go, go again and then just laying off each other all the time on the, on the floor as well. I mean, Liverpool's renowned for producing some great boxing talent. How, how do you keep these kids in the gym when they get to the ages of 15 and 16? What what motivates them to keep them in the gym? Yeah, that's, that's a good question because uh, I think most amateur boxing clubs say the same thing. They've got madly talented kids who are brilliant and you can't get them into train, you know. So, But uh, we try to keep our boxers abreast of the full picture there are some some roads are open to other people and not to others so if there's funding or stuff like that they'd be mad not to to take it and to, and to go down that road but to some kids they don't want to do that and um, it's important that they know you you're looking at the big picture for them that if they're, they're, you want them to stay amateur there's a purpose that they that you want x amount of fights a certain amount of experience to, t to take to a promoter if you want if you want to go that way in the future so we we try to keep them keep their mind into the i always think when you're 17, when I was 17, I, you know, you think a day in the future, that's long term, isn't it? But we have to, we have to think like that for them and let them know that, you know, that things are going to happen for them. You know, even if these don't happen in the amateurs, they, they'll come eventually. That's right. I mean, sometimes being a coach and a trainer is a thankless task. It's not the most money involved. It's not the most glamorous, glamorous of jobs. How do you guys keep yourself motivated to, to turn out day in, day out? Um, you just just see the progression of the lads and you see what they're doing. I mean, we're not money motivated anyway, you know what I mean? We wouldn't be in this business if we were money motivated. Um, money's not an issue for us, it's not an issue, but it's it's not our, our, our main priority, you know what I mean? But we get the buzz out of seeing the likes of uh, Kevin win the European title or the way Jazz is progressing and he's gonna progress, you know what I mean? That, that's the buzz we get out of it, that's what keeps us motivated. Like a bit like a like them like hobbyists who uh, they've got an old car and they, they do it up every day and every day you come into the garage it looks a bit better looks a bit better it's motivation in itself and it? it's a bit like that with the boxers you know every day a little bit more polish on them a little bit they learn new things they try new things it's exciting to do you know what I, mean? I mean a couple of your lads are out on the Merseyside show Mersey boys show which is looks to be a fantastic card on the 6th of March Jazza Dickens a chance for him to become British champion I know he's already had a shot before but do you think he's more ready this time around yeah he's, he's more mature he's um that, that's the main thing, really. He, he's more mature and he's got all the skills in the world, Jazz, and I'm sure he'll do well on the night. You know what I mean? It's a tough fight, though. Kevin Satchel as well, someone who seems to be looking for that breakout fight. It's, it's not hard for the little guy. It's hard for the little guy sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, the, they're on the short ends of the pay and everything else. And, um, you know, people are people and you want to see them big heavies knocking people out. But I always feel a bit sorry for the flyaways. They're saying every bit is hard and in some areas they've got a, a lot more skill as well and they have to have to, to live in the waters that they live in. But, they, you know, they, it's, they get the short end of the person. That's the way it goes. But Kevin um, Kevin nearly fought himself up. He's done it the old-fashioned way, you know, from an amateur, not much uh, international experience, turned pro and nearly done it the hard way. He took some good fights, tough fights, which he had to have balls to take and he, he took them, he won them. I know, and um, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to work with that, that uh, Kevin is because he's such a, a loyal, hard working fella, the type of fella you want to do well, you know. Yeah, he, he makes you want to do for him, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a consumer pro, as Mick said, so uh, yeah, that's it, it helps, doesn't it? You know. What are your aspirations for the rest of this year? I mean, I know you've got some cracking amateur lads coming through as well as the pros. What, what, what do you see 2015 holding for you guys? Well, I'd say... Um, Immediately, we'd like to get a. We want a big year, really, you know, like all of us do. Uh, uh, straight away, we'd like to get Kevin um, defending this European again and, and hope to move him on towards, towards a world level, although it is a tough uh, thing to break into at flyweight, you know, when you look at the, the champions. Uh, but we'd like to take some roles to move him on to that. Uh, Jazz said to become a British champion, we will hope, although we never count no chicken still to ask them. Um, it'd be a tough fight with Josh Whale, I think, but still, we, I would expect him 
honestly to get through it well and uh, and to move on to hopefully European uh, honours himself this year. Uh, Ryan Farag's coming through, so was offered into box for British uh, title this year at some stage. And young uh, Stephen Lewis, um, just to just to see Steve continue to develop and uh, get a few fights under his belt, build us now. Yeah, he could, he's, uh, could be very special, Steve, couldn't he? Yeah, he's a, he's a good kid. Uh, and then we've got these 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 really good amateurs coming through. We've worked with since they were babies, and they're uh, they're coming up to the sort of area now where they're ready to turn pro, and or if not ready to turn pro, ready to do well in the amateurs. Like Peter McGrail's just got a, a GB contract, so he he's going to be looking at the the future Olympics. Uh, we've got a couple of other lads who are around that sort of level doing similar type of things. Although what they do in the future is entirely up to them. Same with Peter. Decided to stay amateur his whole life. He's got our blessing, you know what I mean. That we'll keep training him. It's just the way it goes. But um, yeah, it's hopefully going to be a good year, you know. Yeah, we've got a uh, and another nice thing I like is that we've got a uh, Neil Marsh got a, and, and Frank Warren, such strong people uh, behind you who are motivated, who know how to do the thing. They've been there before, haven't they? Especially, you know, they know what they're doing. So uh, it's great to have their backing, and you really feel like uh, things are possible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think you're doing a cracking job with the lads. It's great to get down to your gym and have a look about. Thank, thank you for having us here, and uh, we really appreciate you. Know? Yeah, all right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Always welcome. Nice one. Thank you.